And you guys were on the road with Gym Class Heroes, Fall Out Boy, and Lil Wayne. Was that the tour? No, that wasn't the tour. But us being on tour with Fall Out Boy and Gym Class Heroes. That's we, a hell of a tour back yeah, then. It led to the being in the same places as Lil right, Wayne. Right, 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 right. Tiger right. met Lil Wayne, 2008 VMT, uh, MTV, VMA. Right. You know it was supposed to be Fall Out Boy, uh, Lil Wayne, and like, I think it was uh, T-Pain or somebody was supposed to perform. Sounds but, about right for that for that year. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think T Pain could could perform because he was in the suite at the Palms with Kanye doing that other song. What's that? Good song? Life. Yeah, they was doing that song, so they was like, "Damn, we needed somebody else to fill in T Pain or Kanye spot." I think for the song that was, so they was just like, "Yo, Tiger, go to show moment," and that's how they came. Wow, yeah, they, they really did that song too. It was dope. It's called Arms Race. I still remember it like it was just. I remember that song. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Like those was the days that made me feel like. You're really soaking up and learning, man. So that's why everything that come my way, I be feeling so world prepared. Like even sitting right here with you, I'm just so world prepared. I'm, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's crazy because being around like, uh, you know, Fall Out Boy at that time is the biggest band. Gym Class Hero is probably the hottest band. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I still talk to Trav, man. He yeah, he got a new song too called Spoon Full of Cinnamon. He's a fucking legend. Yeah, legend, dude. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have my lip pierced. They, I wouldn't, you know. What they I'm had saying? a song called "Dressed the Way I Dress." They had a song called "Pillmatic." Uh, oh, I love that. Yeah, man, Jim, Jim, mm -hmm. Jim Class Heroes had some shit before yeah. they popped. My, my favorite song was Viva the White Girl. Yeah, yes. <laughs> now, nah, Jim Class Heroes had some shit, but it, it's crazy because you obviously coming from South Central and then kind of cutting your teeth in, in the game, like around like the other side of the music biz, not, the, not necessarily the rap shit, but yeah. kind of being on the road, seeing what it's like to, you know. It made me realize and I learned that all your money comes from touring. Because ah. you got to break so much down with the label, the manager, to the break even, you know, your crew and all yeah. that. But when you're on tour, that's when you really eat. You know what I mean? You could go out there, get a real bag. You could push your merch and stuff. And, you know, people might take a percentage of that. But when you tour a lot, that's where a lot of your money come from. So when I learned that, I'm like, man, I love being on the road. Because it would be dates where, I mean, it would be tours where people are on the road for like four or five months. They don't do that no more. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Oh, not no a, more. They don't drop no album and be on the road for four or five nah. months. So. It made me appreciate that. 